Your guardian angel is protecting you from harm today and always. With human tests, the key is knowing all the answers. But with God's test, the key is not knowing all the answers. With God's test, the key is trusting God to know the answer. You've got to trust God in the testing. Now in the Bible, a test is a trial that purifies and prepares the heart. A test is a trial used by God to purify and prepare the heart. You are being tested, always. You're being prepared. You're being purified. We're always being shaped. Again, if you fail to see this, then you'll interpret the challenges of your life as random issues that you just want to avoid. You'll try to avoid any challenge. Now, nobody gets excited about tests, but if you understand that you serve a master weaver who's going to weave all of this together, you will be able to discover that there is purpose in the troubles that come your way. For when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. God's goal on on earth is not to make you happy. God's goal on your life is to grow you up to spiritual maturity. Happiness comes from holiness. And, and in heaven, you're going to be happy for trillions and trillions of years. This is the growing stage. This is the development stage. Not everything works perfectly, and not everything goes the way you want it to go, because God is much more interested in your character than he is your comfort. Now, one of the ways, one of the ways that God grows you up is by testing you. You know, when, when you work out in a gym, you, you test your muscles by lifting weights. And the more weight you can lift, uh, the more it tests your muscle, the more it grows your muscle. And God builds your character the same way, through a series of tests. And those tests test your faith, they test your character, they test your patience, they test all kinds of things in your life. Now, the good news behind that is that there's a purpose behind every problem in your life. Problems are not simply arbitrary. Problems are not simply by chance. The problems that come into your life are there to test your character, to grow your character, to grow your faith, to help you become all that God wants you to be, the man God wants you to be, the woman God wants you to be. So every problem has a purpose and it's designed to help you grow. When God puts you to the test and you pass the test and he blesses you, watch this carefully. He's not coming back with a less struggle. The only way he's going to get your faith at this is to keep pushing. He he tests you here, and what happens? The next time, the test is stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger because what's happening is it's like lifting weights. You start with two pounds, then you go to five, then you go to 10, then you go to 20, whatever it might be. You're getting stronger in your physical body when you extend the amount of weights. When you and I faithfully go through some test, some trial, and we come through it, we can thank God for it. But look, don't relax, because there's another one coming. He's not going to let you, allow you to stay where you are unless you push against him, push against him, push against him, and refuse to submit to the test. The test could be financial, it could be in your relationships to people, it could be with your job, whatever it might be. Whatever it is, remember this, that God's for you, He says he's working all things, listen, for our good if we trust him and rely upon him, one of his children. And so whatever the test is, it's for our good. We don't like them sometimes because they're costly. Sometimes they demand things of us that we don't necessarily want to yield. But if we want to grow and accomplish his purpose in our life, we must trust him. So God has a will and a purpose and a plan for your life. And the reason he wants to grow your faith is because he knows The greater your degree of trust in Him, the more He's going to be able to, watch this, do through you, in you, and for you, as well as for the kingdom of God. That's why it's so very important that you and I learn to trust Him and to walk obediently before Him. Trust God during these times of testing. God has not forgotten you. 
God has not forgotten you. Do not interpret this time of testing as the absence of God, just the opposite. The Old Testament word for test comes from a Hebrew word that means to take a keen look at, to choose. To take a keen look at, to choose. So if you are being tested, it is because God is looking at you. He is choosing to prepare you for something in the future. But sometimes in the test, the teacher is silent. You don't hear anything. You don't see anything improving. But you have to know in the dark moments, God still has you in the palm of his hand. He knows it's difficult. He knows you feel overwhelmed. He knows you don't think you can go on. Don't worry. Help is on the way. Weeping endures for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Now keep standing one day at a time. Don't worry about tomorrow. You don't have grace for tomorrow. Stand today, and when you get to tomorrow, you'll have grace for that day. God is fully engaged. He sees the needs of tomorrow and accordingly prepares the test of today. He sees the needs of tomorrow and accordingly he prepares the test of today. How are you being tested? How are you being tested? Are you being tested emotionally? Are you being tested physically? Is your patience being developed? Perhaps a good question for you to ask your Heavenly Father is, Lord, what's this test for? Or how am I being tested? And perhaps you can even say, thank you, Lord. Consider it all joy, the scripture says, when you passed through various types of trials. You consider, thank you, Lord, that you would consider me worthy of this test. But you press into the test of today. You trust God in a season of testing. And one more, you trust God for the timing. You may be in this test right now, the wind test, where you've been waiting for an answer and there doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. You're going, when? When, Lord? When are you going to take care of this problem? When are you going to take care of this issue? When are you going to take care of this relationship? When are you going to take care of my finances? When are you going to take care of my health? When are you going to take care of my future? And you're just going, when, Lord, when? Faith is waiting for God's timing without knowing when. Some of you have been waiting a long time for your prayer to be answered. Waiting a long time to be pregnant. Waiting a long time to be married. Waiting a long time for that boss to be fired. Waiting a long time. Just be patient. Trust God for the timing. God is always at work. God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves him. Our call is simply to wait while God works. You just keep trusting God in the testing you just keep trusting God in the timing to be sure Joseph would be the first to tell you life in the pit stinks it does but for all of its rottenness it brings one beautiful blessing when you're down in the pit there's only one way to look and that's up you keep looking up and the same God who reached in to rescue Joseph is the God who will reach in to rescue you. It may be taking longer than you thought. You were determined at first. You stood strong, but now it's been a long time. You're tired. Thoughts are telling you it's never going to work out. You'll never get well. Never see your family restored. Don't believe those lies. That test is not permanent. God has already set an end to the difficulty. You have to get your second wind. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. What he started, he's going to finish. Dig down deep and keep passing the test. Keep thanking him that it's on the way. Keep declaring what he promised. Keep believing when you don't see any sign of it. Stay in this attitude of faith. Faith is waiting on God's timing without knowing when. Faith is expecting a miracle without knowing how. Faith is trusting God's purpose 
without knowing why. Faith is continuing to persist without knowing how long. This is a test. Subscribe to this channel. Stay hopeful. God bless you. Type Amen if you believe in miracles. Remember to like this video and give thanks. Watch this important message right now.